guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be Makeup I Love But Never Use Part 2. I did this video a couple months ago, and I'm going to do it again now. I feel like this is a really fun, kind of creative video that I haven't seen many other people do. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, put it every single freaking day. So if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. So, um... I watched this video over again from a couple months ago, make sure that I didn't mention any of the same products because I noticed that in that video, the, the products that I mentioned, I still don't use now. But let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is metallic lipsticks. I own a lot of them. These are my favorite. It's the Sola Look brand, the Saved by the Bell ones. And I also have a ton of Jeffree Star metallics. I also have those little metallic lip toppers from Jouer. And I never use them. I don't use metallic products. Overall, I like like a shimmer on the lid sometimes, but I don't use metallic lipstick. I think they're pretty, but not for me. I feel like the metallic lipsticks make your teeth look kind of yellow sometimes because the white kind of reflects uh, from the metallicness and makes your teeth look more yellow. I don't know if that's actually a fact, but for me, I completely believe it. The only metallic lipstick I've ever worn like out in public is Dreamhouse by Jeffree Star, but the rest of these, I, I love them. I think the formula is great but I just don't use them myself. I'm not a meta metallic lipstick person. I just feel it looks kind of weird on me. I don't know. While we're on the topic of Jeffree Star and metallic lipsticks and stuff like that, let's talk about another Jeffree Star product that I don't use. This is the Mojito Lip Scrub by Jeffree Star. You guys, if you've been here for a while, you know why I don't use this. I have not opened this container since the day I decided it'd be a great idea to ask you guys to give me a bunch of likes and I would eat this. And I did. Now, I've seen people eat some of the other flavors. I'm sure that's fine, but in huge quantities towards the bottom of the jar, it is disgusting. I don't know if it's because I chose the mojito one. I'm scared to even sniff this. Mm, it smells like regret. I am. I need to throw it away, but I really like how cute the container is. I can't believe I just sniffed that. I'm kind of traumatized still, but um, I never use that product. Another Jeffree Star product that I never use is the Peach Goddess Skin Frost. I've used this maybe twice and then topped it with another one. For me, it's not the best. Like, I'm decently pale and I use like a white highlighter. So this one's very peachy peachy and I feel like if I'm going to wear this, it might be a little bit dark or I top it with a lighter one. But it's just... It's blinding. It's beautiful. The formula is still good. It hasn't had like that hard residue on the outside. Uh... I just don't use it. It's just too peachy. I want more something blinding and white, so I don't use it. Still cute to have, I guess. Don't think I should have bought it. So next up is a foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation in 106 Light Ivory. This is their lightest shade. It's a little too dark for me. Like I can still blend it out and make it work, but I never find myself reaching for this because it gets my beauty blender disgusting because it's so wet. Um, which I know it doesn't make sense because all foundations that I use are liquid, but for some reason this, my beauty blender, eats all the foundation and it's just a wet, wet, wet mess. And I need to clean my beauty sponge right afterwards because it doesn't dry down. Um, it's just, I love it. I think it's a great formula. It's very pretty. If I was using a foundation brush, I'd probably use this. But again, I just never reached for it because I know... I'm going to have to go straight to the sink and clean up Beauty Blender after using this product. So next up is the Kat Von D Alchemist Palettes. Got it off Poshmark because everyone else talked about it and the packaging is literally everything. But I don't use it. I used it for a dupe video where I duped three different dupes for this palette. <sighs> I don't use it very much. I think, I think what got me is that I never saw this in person. I always saw it online and I thought it was so pretty. Um, but I actually saw this thing in person. Now when you see it in person, the pan sizes are so tiny. When you see it on Instagram pictures, it looks so pretty and so gorgeous. But in person, the pan sizes are just ridiculously small for knowing the retail price. But as, I guess that's why I don't use it. I'm just like, ugh, so hyped. Really good quality product. Like, I love the, eye sh the, the highlighters. They make really great eyeshadows too. But... I'm just kind of mad that she decided to make this this price and put gorgeous packaging for this small amount of product. And I just don't reach for it. So, I don't know. 
So the next product is by ColourPop. Some of the palettes I've been using less lately and some I've been using more, so I didn't include any of that in here. But this is the ColourPop highlighter and um, number one reason why I don't like this, I mean I like it, it's a good product. It doesn't have the name on it. Like this little container doesn't have the name of what the product is at all. It just says highlighter or bronzer is in here. I know this is Sauve Play. Sauve de Play. I can pop it out and probably see the name on the back of the palette thing. But I never know the name of it. And I just don't use it that much. It's a little bit powdery. But it's really pretty. I just never touch it. Don't know why. It, I mean it's good. It'd be great for traveling because it's so much smaller than like a skin frost. But I just never touch it. So next up is another Wet n Wild product. This is the Mega Glow Halo. Hello Halo. In Halo Graphic. It's really cute. The only times I've ever used this is to like brighten up the inner corner and then put a white powder down on top of it to really brighten up the inner corner. But for my foundation, I feel like this just takes a lot more blending than a lot of other liquid highlighters I've used. It's gorgeous. I love the little duochrome white, pinkly, purpley shade it has to it. But I just don't reach for it. I feel like because I know it's going to be a little bit extra work than just popping on a powder highlighter. But it, it does blend out if you take the time to do it with your sponge. But it's really cute. It's only five bucks. The only time I've ever really used it though is the inner corner. So next up is a palette that I love recommending to you guys because it is so good. But personally, I don't use it as much as I thought I would because I have so many other colorful palettes. And this is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. It's so pretty. I love it. It's a great affordable palette. Um, but I don't use, I don't really use it that much anymore. I don't know. I just have a ton of other colorful palettes that I reach for more. I feel like a lot of these colors are shimmers and the mattes. I don't know. It's like there's, there's like a blue matte and there's like a blue shimmer. There's a purple matte. There's a purple shimmer. But I need like two kind of similar matte shades in a palette. And for this one, it comes with like a matte and a shimmer. There's no two similar matte shades. So... I don't know, maybe it's, I think that's why I don't reach for it, is because I like having two similar matte shades in a palette, and this doesn't. So, I have a lot of other colorful palettes that I reach for more, but it is a really beautiful palette. The next palette that I never use is the Naked Heat palette. I used this once, like, last week, I think, to start filming with. But other than that, I haven't reached for it in the past, like, two months. It's very pretty. Love the colors. The formula is so buttery, so smooth. All these colors are decently similar, so they blend really well together. Um, I just, I haven't been using it. I've been using a lot less, uh, warm tone eye makeups lately. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's a really good palette that I haven't been touching, but I want to use more. So next up is another Urban Decay palette. Three out of the four of these palettes are from Urban Decay, which I have no reason. Like, I did not know it was going to be like that. But, um, I love Urban Decay, but I don't use this palette as much as I did when I first got it. And this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. When I first got this... We were getting neon eye looks every day out of this palette. It's so pretty. Uh, but I haven't been using it in the past, like, two months. I just love the lime color in here. I think it's the best. I love the silver color in here. The colors overall, very pretty. I like that most of these shimmers, uh, like, half of these things are shimmers, half of these are matte. But I don't use it as much as I thought I would. Um, I used it a lot at first, but I haven't been using it lately. I want to get more use out of it, but I have a ton of bright neon palettes. And I have a lot of Urban Decay palettes overall. So this is just one that I got on sale from Nordstrom Rack for 20 bucks. I don't regret it. I love the quality. But I need to reach for it more than I have been. So the last palette that I'm going to talk about today, the last product I'm going to talk about today, is the Urban Decay Basquiat palette. I got this a few weeks ago. I played with it the night I got it. Saw the quality was great and have not touched it since then. I don't know. I think I got it because it's a cool artwork. I kind of like that you can hang the palette. Like, there's a thing for that. It's kind of cool, like it's a canvas or something. But I have not used it. These cool tone colors are not my jam. I feel like if I was going to look for some of these colors, I'd go to the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I don't think I need the navy or gray shade in here at all. Like, these two shades, I'd never touch. I have navy colors that I like, but I don't know if I'd use something quite that dark. It's almost a black color, and I don't use black eyeshadow. It might supposed to be black, but it looks blue to me. I don't know. I just don't... I'll never use it. I don't know. It's really pretty. The quality's good. There's nothing wrong with the colors, but it just... I don't see myself reaching for it that much. Um, 
and that's that so let me know something down below you guys at least one product that you love and you'll never get rid of but you don't use very often for me it's a lot of things i think the number one thing that i mentioned in the last video that i love and i'll never never get rid of but i don't use it is the Ever sister hands palette from sugar pill love it never use it never use lip liners never use any of those other products but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on a thumbnail with my face on in the beginning. That's really cool. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.